hello guys how are you all welcome back to new video on my channel today i am back with whiteout survival today i want to show you something about the heroes this is a guide video for the heroes i made a guide video on heroes uh, long back but lot of things changed lot of things updated so this is a new video about the heroes and in my last video i did not go much details on every hero every generation i just told you the combat or defense part of the heroes but in this video i will tell you every detail from a to z i will tell you everything about heroes and in this video i will discuss from generation 1 to generation 7 and I will mainly focus on the expedition but sometimes I will also talk about the arena so tie your seat belt because this is a long video it is going to be a long video so without any delay let's jump in our video so we are starting our whiteout survival journey with gen 1 gen 1 gets lot of heroes but I will tell you which thing you should do as a free to play guys remember my videos are only for free to play players if you are pay to win you do not need any guide you can make every hero 4 star 5 star or max level as your choice but free to play players always struggle to push their uh, gameplay so I am giving the suggestion only for free to play players so we are starting with generation 1 generation 1 gets lot of heroes the the all growth heroes all growth heroes comes in generation one these are the growth heroes like smith eugene Claudius, and charlie everyone has special ability with the resources food wood coal iron gathering and production they have special ability i'm not going to discuss them because they are not the part of our combat i will mainly discuss on the combat so we are starting with sergey you have to focus a lot on Sergei. It is not your first hero. Your first hero will be Bahiti. You will get the Bahiti. Where is my Bahiti by the way? There are a lot of heroes. Yeah, you will get the Bahiti first. But you have to focus on the Sergei in generation 1. Why? Because you are not getting any good hero in generation 1. You will get Zinman in Lucky Wheel. But Zinman is not any combat type hero. Zinman is growth hero. Okay. I have a lot of heroes so it is a bit, little bit difficult to find the heroes. Here is the Zin man but we have some problem with Zin man. Zin man is a growth type hero. Now every hero give you some stats as you can see here. Marksman attack, defense, uh, lethality, health. Every growth hero or combat hero they will give you the stats. It is like in real life. In real life if you give a gun to a farmer he will go to battle and he will take some kill. But he cannot find like a commando. Right. So. You can see your smith is here smith is also giving some infantry attack defense and other things but it is not important because they are just some growth heroes so we need to focus a lot on the sergey and i am talking about the zinman what is the problem of zinman zinman is a growth hero recently zinman got an update so the joiner skill of zinman is little bit good it is useful for any garrison joiner skill you can see defense up and health up old zinman was bad but new zinman is good but still it is problem for free to play players because zinman will come in generation one lucky will and it will stay only for 40 days generation two comes at 40 days so you are getting generation one from starting to 40 days in this 40 days it is very difficult to collect the gems and uh, get some good shots in the lucky wheel guys in this video i'm not talking about the shards and lucky wheels and other things i have made separate videos on them i will give the link in the comment you can watch those videos later so you understand what is the problem of zinman the new zinman is good for the joiner skill the first skill the first expedition skill is called the joiner skill remember this thing the new zinman is really good but the problem is free to play problem you cannot upgrade zinman properly lack of gems in generation one that is the reason you have to focus on the sergey why we are focusing on the sergey sergey has the joiner skill damage taken down this skill is very good for the defense Moreover, in generation 1, you don't have any good uh, tank hero. Tank or infantry, they are same thing. In generation 1, you don't have any good infantry hero. Look at here. 
Natalia. Natalia is coming in generation 1. Natalia is an infantry hero, but the problem is it is, it is pay to win hero. It is not free to play hero. And another problem with Geronimo. Geronimo is also coming in generation 1. It is also infantry hero, but the problem is it is not free to play hero. If you are free to play, you can get Geronimo in Hall of Chief. I told you, you have to be very lucky and you have to shape lot of items to get the good rank to unlock Geronimo but that's it you can unlock Geronimo as free to play but you cannot upgrade Geronimo as free to play so we are not focusing Geronimo or Natalia and these heroes are not any good choice this uh, Smith and Eugene they are not for fight that is the reason we are focusing on the Sergei in the generation 1 you understand what I am saying now you can tell me one more thing uh, Jesse and Patrick they have very good joiner skill so why we are not focusing on them guys by the term focusing I mean use of, of your general shard look at this thing uh, what is the thing this thing epic general shard or mythic general shard the general shard by the term focus I mean use of general shard okay so we have to use our general shard on Sergey in generation 1 not on Jesse or Patrick you can ask me why why you are not doing this thing because they have good rally joiner skill if you are free to play you cannot call your own rally you should join other people rally so why we are not focusing on Patrick and uh, Patrick and Jesse now listen carefully you are in generation 1 in generation 1 you do not need to join much rally there is no sunfire castle on generation 1 you will get only facility and fortress battle and you can manage that thing with uh, some other strong player in your alliance and when you are defending fortress or facility you can use Sergey as garrison joiner you know there are four people in the garrison they use their skill same as rally in rally four people use their first expedition skill in garrison four people use their first expedition skill so you can manage that thing with sergey and you need sergey for yourself for your own city for your own attack for your own defense that is why sergey is very important in generation one another thing in generation one you are getting gina now listen carefully i already made a video on this many people can make four star or five star gina without any problem even though if you are free to play in starting but you should not use gina much in pvp because gina has no combat skill look at here this thing and this thing these two skills they are not any combat type skill you cannot use them in pvp you understand this thing stamina cost down and wilderness smart speed so gina has no use in pvp in place of gina you can use bahiti of course a uh, five star gina will give you good stat here you can see the stats five star gina will give you good stat but gina cannot fight properly in the battle in place of gina you can use bahiti and if you are getting zin man then it is very good very very good now we have uh, talked everything about generation one so what is the conclusion from generation one you have to make sergey at least three star if possible i'm not forcing you you are free to play i know that so i'm not forcing you to make it four star or five star make it at least three star if your hero is three star you can get level four skill if your hero is four star you will get level five skill so your skill always uh, one step ahead of your hero level hero star level uh, because if you are look here if your star level is 3 your skill level will be 4 if your star level is 4 your skill level will be 5 do you understand so your sergey is the tank hero or the infantry hero for generation 1 and for, uh, for your marksman you are using bahiti and if you are uh, getting good amount of gem then you can get the zin man from lucky wheel now question is how many star you should get for the zin man i suggest you to get at least three star because zin man has one good thing that is the construction boost you can see construction cost down and construction speed up this thing is really very good so you can get zin man to at least three star but it is very difficult for free to play so i'm not forcing you to upgrade zin man but you should get bahiti okay and for Lancer, you don't need to worry. You are getting a lot of Lancer in Generation 1. Uh, Jesse is a Lancer. Patrick is a Lancer. And the best thing is Molly. You are getting Molly for free. Where is my Molly? Okay, yeah. You are getting Molly for free. Molly is also Lancer. So, 
this is the final result for generation one you are using sergey molly and bahiti do you understand sergey molly and bahiti for free to play players don't use gina or don't use zinman this lineup is really good sergey molly bahiti and in place of molly you can also try patrick or jesse and when you are joining any rally i mean you should not join any rally uh, you should join the rally as normal player don't be the rally joiner with the joiner skill but you can join the garrison using the sergey first skill you can see damage taken down so this skill is very good as garrison joiner skill and in this video i'm not talking about the hero gear because i have already made a separate video on the hero gear you can watch the video i will give the link now we are ending gen 1 and we are moving to uh, gen 2 gen 2 we are getting some good hero i mean for free to play these heroes are really good actually these heroes are not good but if you are free to play you have no other option so in lucky wheel you are getting the friend now listen carefully you should always save your gem and in every generation you will get the lucky wheel and you have to use your gem on the lucky wheel and try to get 70 spins from there because in the 70 spin you will get a milestone there is a milestone reward for 70 spin you know that so try to get flint from the lucky wheel and try to upgrade this thing to at least four star i mean not on the first lucky wheel lucky wheel come minimum three times or four times minimum three times so in the whole generation 2, the whole generation is for 80 days. So in the whole generation, you are getting a lot of time to make it at least 4 star. If your star is 4, your skill level will be 5. You can see here, my star level is 4, so my skill levels are 5. Now Flint has no good skill for joiner. You can see here, damage of 40%, but it is a chance skill. Now listen here carefully. You should avoid all those skills who has the term chance. You can see 20% chance. These things are really risky. It means they can trigger, they can either trigger, they can not trigger. It depends on your luck. So avoid this type of skills when you are joining any rally. Flint is not any good hero for rally joiner or garrison joiner. You can use Flint for solo attack or when you are calling your own rally. I mean one versus one battle or in normal PvP battle you can use Flint. Now, other two heroes in this generation, they are pay to win hero. They are Alonso and Philly. Where is the Alonso? Here, you can see my Alonso. And where is my Philly? Okay, there are a lot of heroes. Philly. Now, listen here. Alonso is really good hero. If you are saving the golden shard, the mythic general shard, you can use it on the Alonso because Alonso is very powerful for both expedition and exploration. You can check this skill here. I already discussed this skill, the trap net skill. The trap net make a lot of damage in the arena. So you can you can upgrade your Alonso if you want. And other skills are also very good. Uh, but again, we are getting the chance skill here. Try to avoid this type of skills. Uh, it's as you can see the term 16% chance or 20% chance try to avoid this skill when you are joining any rally or any garrison They are good for normal PvP or solo attack, but they are not good for joining rally or garrison So what is our conclusion for generation 2? We are in generation 2. We are free to play players. We got flint So our tank hero or infantry hero that is the flint as you can see now what is our Lancer hero? Lancer hero has a lot of problem because you cannot upgrade Philly properly. My Philly is 3 star or almost 4 star because I played a lot of events. So my Philly is a little bit strong but right now my Philly is not very useful. Look at my Philly. The stats are not very good. My Philly is strong but uh, when I was in generation 2, my Philly was not strong. So you cannot do anything with your Philly. Try to avoid Philly. But I'm not telling you to skip. Now listen, there are two uh, differences. There, there is actually a difference between the skip and the avoid. Skip means you are properly not getting the hero. You are just not getting the hero. That is skip. But avoid means you can get the hero but you do not uh, need to upgrade it too much. You can upgrade it to 2 star or 3 star. So you can get uh, Philly and you can make it 2 star or 3 star. Now your question is how you will get Philly shard or Alonso shard. I already make a video on the shards. There are a lot of sources like Hall of Heroes, Hero Hall, then King of Icefield and many other events. 
इन दो इवेंट्स यू विल गेट द शॉर्ट्स टू अनलॉक फिली और अलोन्सो सो वॉट इज आवर रिजल्ट फ्रॉम जेनरेशन टू वी हैव फ्लेंट एंड वी हैव मॉली मॉली इज कमिंग फ्रॉम जेन वन वी हैव मॉली एंड वी हैव बहिती दिस इज आवर रिजल्ट फॉर फ्री टू प्ले प्लेयर्स फ्लिंट मॉली बहिती डू यू अंडरस्टैंड we are not using alonso we are not using philly because they are very difficult to use we can unlock them but we cannot upgrade them properly and if you are free to play you will eventually get lot of uh, opportunity to upgrade them but when you are in generation 2 you will have lot of problem to upgrade uh, alonso or philly so we are ending in generation 2 and we are moving to generation 3 in generation 3 lucky wheel we are getting mia Now Mia is little bit standard hero. I'm not saying Mia is very good hero, but if you are free to play, Mia will help you a lot. So get Mia, and again Mia has very bad skill as rally joiner, as you can see here, fifty uh, percent chance. So try to avoid this skill who has the term chance. Chance skills are not very good for rally joiner or garrison joiner, but you should get Mia because Mia is very strong for normal PVP battle. so we are getting mia and other heroes are same we have flint from generation 2 and bahiti from generation 1 and we are getting mia in generation 3 lucky wheel now your question is we are in generation 3 we have lot of golden shard and purple shard where we should use them for the purple shard i can tell you to use them on the patrick and jesse you are in generation 3 right now now you are already very strong and now there is full full scale sunfire battle so right now you can join the rally and the garrison using jesse or patrick jesse and patrick they are standard hero but there are some other heroes also like jasar jasar is also good as rally joiner then ling xuan you can check here where is the skill ling xuan reduces enemy attack so ling xuan is very good for garrison joiner then you have xiaoun xiaoun is also very good for the rally joiner you can see attack up skill this joiner skill is attack up but uh, it depends on you if you are upgrading your xiaoun jasar or uh, ling what is the full name ling xuan if you are upgrading these three heroes then it is very good thing this three heroes you can see can you see this th uh, three heroes these three heroes are good for rally joiner or garrison joiner and we also have wallace bokan i was almost forgetting him you can see enemy damage down skill wallace bokan is also very good but if you are getting shards then upgrade them if you are not getting the shards i'm not forcing you to upgrade them but classic heroes for rally joiner and garrison joiner they are jesse and patrick patrick has the uh, health up skill so it is for the garrison joiner and jesse has the damage up skill so it is for the rally joiner i do not need to make you uh, understand always if you read the skill you will understand yourself if it is for rally joiner or garrison joiner when you are seeing that your damage is increasing your attack is increasing it means it is for the rally joiner and when you are seeing that your health is increasing or enemy attack is reducing your defense is going up it means it is garrison joiner skill so you see jesse and patrick they are here and we are in generation 3 by the by this time we have lot of war we can get alliance versus alliance war and now very soon we will also get the sbs so you should use your purple general shot on jesse or patrick and you will also get the normal shot for uh, patrick and jesse you can also use them uh, so what is our result from generation 3 we have flint then we have mia and we have bahiti these three heroes are our main heroes for attacking someone or defending our own city and when we are joining any rally or garrison we are using jesse and we are using patrick and we also have these four heroes i told you jasar ling xuang xiaoun and wallace bokan I'm not forcing you to upgrade them but if you upgrade them you can also use them as rally joiner or garrison joiner they are mainly growth hero you can check jasar has research boost skill ling xuan has training boost skill and xiaoun has healing boost skill and wallace bokan has the wild and nice march speed wallace bokan is not growth hero that is another thing so we are ending generation 3 and now we are entering generation 4 in generation 4 lucky wheel we are getting lin Now I can say Lin is the first good hero in the game as free to play. 
आई मीन एक्चुअली इट इज स्टैंडर्ड हीरो अदर हीरोज आर वेरी मच एवरेज फ्लिंट इज एवरेज मिया इज एवरेज लेन इज ऑल्सो सम हाउ एवरेज बट लेन इज एक्चुअली बेटर देन अदर हीरोज एंड नाउ यू सी दिस थिंग यू आर यूजिंग बाहिती फ्रॉम जेनरेशन वन डू यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग यू आर यूजिंग बाहिती फ्रॉम जेनरेशन वन एंड फाइनली यू कैन रिप्लेस यूर बाहिती यूजिंग द लेन इन जेनरेशन फोर so you can understand the struggle of free to play players you are using the exact same hero from generation 1 and finally in generation 4 you are getting chance to replace him so you are replacing your uh, bahiti and you are getting the lin and other things are not changing much so what is our lineup for generation 4 we have flint we have mia and we have lin what about molly we are not using molly right now because mia is more powerful than molly you can check the skills yourself mia is more powerful by the skills damage up damage taken down enemy damage taken up they are more powerful skills than molly so our lineup for gen 4 generation 4 that is uh, flint then mia then lin and other things are same when we are joining the rally or garrison we are using the jesse jasar or sion or we are using patrick ling shuang or wallace broken these are our standard heroes and now we are in gen 4 we have lot of golden shards so where you should use the golden shard we are uh, okay i forgot to tell you some things Uh, Logan is coming in Gen 3 and Greg is also coming in Gen 3 but they are pay to win heroes Greg is very good for arena if you are uh, thinking that you want to get some good performance in arena you can use your golden shard on the Greg if you want but i'm not forcing you but i want you to use your golden shard on arena in Gen 4 you are getting arena as lancer If you are Mia is strong that is very good but if you have lot of golden shard and if you are thinking to use your golden shard somewhere you can use Reina and if you get Reina you can replace your Mia so why i am talking about Reina Reina is extremely powerful in expedition and exploration you can check this skill this skill is called uh, shadow blade right yeah shadow blade this skill is extremely powerful it can trigger a lot of times in any battle and it can take lot of kills and here is another skill uh, vanishing technique you can see this skill here it is for the arena this skill is so powerful that it can take lot of damage from opponent uh, it has the dodge probability so it is very dangerous skill for the arena so these two skill this one and this one they are extremely powerful that is the reason you can use your golden shard on the arena if you want and i'm talking about only free to play players and if you are free to play you cannot use your golden shard on everywhere so so you can use your golden shard on reina and you can make it four star if you want by the by four star you will get level 5 skill that is very good thing and don't focus on ahmes you you can unlock ahmes i i tell everybody to unlock the heroes so you can unlock armors and you can make it two star or three star but don't focus it much because he is not very good hero for free to play players so what is our result from generation 4 we have flint there is no change then we have mia and the new hero is coming lin who is replacing bahiti and if you are trying to get reina you can get and you can replace your mia so you have two option in your hand first one is flint mia lin second option is flint reina lin that is your choice if you are trying to get lin you can get and rally joiner garrison joiner they are same they have no change they will get no change now we are ending gen 4 and we are finally entering gen 5 now i can say gen 5 is the best generation because all strong heroes all good heroes in the game they will start coming from this generation gen 5 so the lucky wheel hero in gen 5 that is hector this hector is extremely powerful hero for both expedition and exploration you can get hector from lucky wheel and i tell you guys to save your gem and uh, get it from the lucky wheel and you can see the stats the stats are very good the skills are also very good uh, as you can see here but the bad thing is hector has very bad uh, joiner skill again the chance skill is here you can see 40% chance so this thing is really bad if any hero has chance skill try to avoid it as rally joiner or garrison joiner but chance skill has one use i will tell you where you can use the hero as rally joiner or garrison joiner 
so we are getting hector we have to get hector and we have to upgrade him to at least four star he's fr uh, free to play hero he is lucky wheel hero so i think you can make it at least four star now the other heroes they are uh, i mean it depends on you other heroes are nora and gwen both of these heroes nora and gwen they are powerful in expedition and ex exploration so i have one more uh, option for you if you are trying to not get uh, reina uh, if you are trying to avoid the reina in gen 4 you can get gwen in gen 5 gwen has very dangerous skill for the arena it can clear i mean it can wipe out full enemy so it depends on you you cannot get reina and gwen both together that is the problem because you don't have enough golden shard and if you have enough golden shard if, if you somehow manage to get the golden shard you can get both reina and both gwen and same about the nora if you are getting reina you don't need nora uh, because you are free to play using the gen 4 hero you can cross gen 5 reina is from gen 4 hero if you have four star reina you don't need nora but if you don't have reina and if you are still using mia i highly recommend you to get nora are you getting confused with my word so i am giving you what what is the final result coming from gen 5 for the infantry hero we have hector okay there is no doubt now for the lancer hero if you are still using mia from gen 3 i i suggest you to replace your mia and get nora okay replace your mia mia and get nora using the golden shard and if you already got the reina in gen 4 then you don't need nora okay and if you have used lot of shards on reina then i think you don't have enough shards uh, enough shards but if you have enough shards you can try to upgrade the gwen to at least three star look i have upgraded till at least three star you can go to four star if you have enough golden shard but i know it is difficult for free to play players gwen and nora both are very good hero but the problem is you don't have enough golden shard for free to play players so my suggestion as final lineup from generation 5 is hector uh reina then lin lin is still same we are not changing anything with the lin now you will notice one thing in the game uh, that is there will be some change in the hero hall you can see the recruitment preview you can see this thing i am currently in gen 7 so right now i am getting all the heroes from gen 5 if you are in gen 4 you will get all the heroes from gen 2 these are the gen 2 heroes you can see and if you are in gen 5 you are getting all the heroes from gen 3 uh, these are the gen 3 heroes you can see so do you understand what is the what is the thing inside the hero hall you will always get uh, two generation down two generation down shards from the hero hall uh, like if you are in gen 6 you will get the shards from gen 4 in the hero hall so we are in generation 5 right now we are getting the shards from generation 3 and our uh, other events will also change we will also get a uh, heroes mission and in heroes mission we will get some other type of uh, heroes uh, our uh, i mean heroes mission is the replacement of gina's revenge and we will get lot of other type of hero shards so we are in gen 5 right now and we are getting gen 3 heroes and gen 3 heroes uh, you should try to upgrade your greg because greg is very good for the arena i told you even in gen 5 you can use the greg uh, in the arena i know greg is from the gen 3 but there is no problem you can use it in the gen 5 for the arena battle so Try to get the Greg from the hero hall. I know it is depending on your luck. You have no choice on this. But still I will say uh, you can upgrade your Greg a little bit. You can also try to use the golden shard on the Greg right now when you are in generation 5. So now we are ending generation 5 and we are entering generation 6. So what is the lucky wheel in the generation 6? Uh, Rene. Uh, this hero you can see. This hero is also very good. Uh, so now you have a problem this Rene is Lancer hero if you have already got the Nora in previous generation 
then it is a little bit problem for you because you are also getting Rene and Rene is better than both Nora and both Reina. So you can do one thing, you can get Reina, you can avoid Nora, then you can again get Rene. I know this thing is confusing for you, but if you already have Nora, still you should get Rene because Ro Nora and Rene they have good combination in the arena battle and of course you need double infantry double lancer double marksman for the for the expedition battle you know why look at this thing look at my rampart or the city gate these heroes are inside my city right uh, hector rene then one now what i will do i will try to attack someone so my heroes are going outside See my Hector, my Oane and my Rene, they are going outside. Okay, they are outside. Now I will check the city gate. Now see, other heroes are here in the city gate. It means you should get at least mm, double infantry, double lancer, double marksman, very strong. So when your main march is outside your city, at least your secondary march can save you from other attacks. If your only one march is very strong and every other march are very weak, then what will happen? When you will go to attack someone, someone else will attack you and they will burn you. So that is the reason you should always have one secondary march in your hand. Even if your main march is outside your city, your second march can help you to defend your city. So if you already upgrade your Nora or Reina then there is no problem still you can get Rene at least you will get the uh, get the double Lancer you understand this thing and let's check the um, infantry from the gen 6 this is Ooming I do not like this hero I mean I saw the hero the stats are really good but I don't like the hero for the skills in arena and the skills are not also very good for the expedition battle uh, the stats are good, there is no doubt, but I don't like the skill, so I do not suggest to upgrade the Ooming. Uh, it is your choice if you want to upgrade this thing, you can upgrade, but I know you have problem of the Golden Shard. You do not have the enough Golden Shard to upgrade the Ooming, so you can avoid the Ooming. Now in the Gen 6, you are getting 1A, which is just a pure game changer hero. You can see the 1A. All these skills are extremely dangerous for PvP. These skills can take kill. Now. I think you know this thing if you if you check the report or anything you will see there are some heroes which can take the kill look at this one eh? this one eh is taking the kill but look at this Bradley Bradley is not taking any kill and you can see the Hector Hector is also taking the kill so there are some heroes whose skills can take the kill one eh is such a hero whose all three skills this one this one and the other one all three skills can take kill so one is extremely powerful hero and one has very good skill for the arena so you can use your golden shot on the one look i have upgraded my one so you can upgrade your one if you want uh, but you understand this thing you cannot upgrade your every hero uh, look i have upgraded my one but i have not upgraded my oming in future i will try to upgrade the ooming because you watched the video where i told uh, do not skip any hero generation in that video i told you you need every hero in the game because you are playing the foundry battle or frost fire mine in those event you need almost uh, at least four lancer four marksman four infantry like this or at least three infantry three lancer three marksman minimum because you need lot of marching queue for these events so in future i will upgrade the ooming but right now i am not upgrading this thing but i have upgraded my 1a for now and if you have 1a to 5 star you can use him for at least gen 7 till gen 7 you can use it gen 7 or gen 8 i am not sure about gen 8 because 1a is the gen 6 hero but i can confirm 1a is really powerful even in gen 7 okay so what is our result coming from the gen 6 we have hector we got the hector from gen 5 lucky will then we are getting rene uh, if you have nora then there is no problem because i told you you need double infantry double lancer double marksman so if you have nora or reina you have no problem still you should get the rene from the lucky will uh, hector rene then lin 
and if you have the golden shot you can use it on the 1a so you have two options in your hand either hector or rene or lin or hector or rene or 1a these two are your choice it depends on you which one you want to use and there is one more thing about the rally joiner i will tell it after after telling all the generation i will tell it we are ending gen 6 and we are entering gen 7 so what is the gen 7 lucky wheel it is bradley now i know that you know this thing the lucky wheel uh, change the cycle like this infantry lancer marksman if gen 2 the lucky wheel is for the infantry then in gen 3 the lucky wheel will be for the lancer and gen 4 will be for the marksman again gen 5 will uh, go back to infantry you know this thing right so in gen 7 we are getting bradley which is marksman bradley is very good for the arena battle and also for the uh, ex expedition battle you know the thing you know the stats here you can see the stats the stats are really very good for the bradley so get the Bradley from the lucky wheel and other heroes remain same we have Hector and we have Rene and we have Bradley so now you are seeing this thing uh, we already have one if you are getting one a we already have one a which is um, three star or four star it depends on you now we are also getting Bradley so we have double marksman do you understand this thing we have double a uh lancer double marksman double lancer because we have nora and we also have rene for double lancer and for double marksman we have one and we have bradley now we need only one uh one infantry so in next generation we are getting gutted i don't have gutted right now when i'm making this video i don't have gutted but gutted will come in next generation so when gutted will come you will get hector and gutted both so you will get double infantry double lancer and double marksman so you are really safe if you have this thing because i just told you if your main march is outside your city to attack someone your secondary march will stay inside your city to defend you so for our double infantry double lancer double marksman we have uh one a and bradley as marksman rene and rene and nora as lancer and we currently have Hector and in future we are going to get Gutter. I told you. So these are our all generation hero and I told you which hero you should focus if you are free to play. And I also told you on which hero you should use your golden shard. Golden shard and purple shard both. In the starting you can use the purple shard on this hero Patrick and Jesse. Later you can use your purple shard on Sion. Sion is also very good for this skill. Attack up attack up is very good for the rally joiner and other heroes do not need purple shard like jasar or other heroes they don't need purple shard uh, they will be upgraded to five star automatically if you keep playing this game because there are a lot of sources where you can get the shards what are the other heroes for gen 7 we have uh, edith and where is the other hero edith and oh yeah, i cannot find the hero Edith and Gordon, yeah, they are other heroes for Gen 7, but I'm not telling you to upgrade them because you know you are free to play, so you cannot focus on everything. But try to get Gordon, uh, Gordon and Edith to at least two star or three star because uh, if you have a lot of heroes, it is good for you. Now, I want to tell you something, I think you don't know this thing, I just told you you should avoid the chance skill when you are joining the rally or the garrison right but there are some thing where you have to use the chance skill look at this molly can you read the skill stun chance stun chance 20 percent it is also a, a chance skill but it will stun the opponent what is the stun i will tell you so we are getting molly for this now check alonso can you see this thing stun chance 20 percent same skill and here is our natalia can you see this thing stun chance 20 percent natalia is not free to play hero still i am telling you this thing so what this stun skill will do stun skill will reduce the number of triggered skill of opponent okay i want to show you some example i think this one will be perfect okay now this one is not perfect i want to find a good report let me find a good report for you. 
Okay, guys, I have found a good report for you. Let's check this report. So you you see this thing triggered, triggered and kills. I just told you there are some skills which can take the kill. Look at one A. Can you see how many times the skills are triggered? And can you see how many kills it has taken? So these skills are dangerous. If they are triggered a lot of times, they will take a lot of kills. So what stun will do? Stun will reduce the number of triggered skill. So let's take this example. This is number 11, right? Okay, this one. This one is number 11. If I apply any hero who has the stun skill, the stun skill will reduce the number of triggered skill. So it is 11 right now. It can be either uh, 7 or 8 or 9, something like that. So the number of kills, it will also reduce. So that is the use of stun skill. Now we can use the stun skill in the rally, not in the garrison, but in the rally. In some special case, when we are rallying the Sunfire Castle, we can use this thing uh, to attack someone. So when we are attacking the person, we will stun them so they cannot trigger the skill. So the question is when we should use the stun skill as rally joiner. Listen, I am talking about rally joiner. You have to use Alonso or Molly or Natalia as rally joiner. Uh, I know this skill is not very good for rally joiner, but there are some special cases where you can use these heroes as rally joiner. You can see the stun chance. So what is the place where you can use them? When your opponent has these heroes like 1A or Nora or Reina or where is the other hero? There are some several heroes you can check yourself. Those heroes are extremely powerful. They can trigger their skill lot of times. Mia. Okay, Mia is also here. So these are some example I can tell you. Mia, then Nora, then Gwen, then Reina, then Wane. These are some heroes. They can trigger their skill lot of times. And I have seen they can trigger their skill up to 50 times. If they trigger their skill that much times, they will take a lot of kills. If you want to stop those heroes, you can rally on them using the stun heroes. Suppose your opponent has uh, one A. You are attacking the Sunfire Castle and you see the opponent uh, garrison captain, they have the one A. So what you should do when you are rallying on the Sunfire Castle, you can use four molly as rally joiner. Four molly will give the stun chance 80%. From one molly you are getting stun chance 20%. Four molly will give the stun chance 80%. And guys, I know that you know this thing. The, the rally joiner and galison joiner skill, they stack on each other. So of course they will stack. They will stack, but the problem is they can either trigger or they can not trigger. It depends on luck. But we have to go with luck. We have to use this thing, the stun skill, to stop those heroes. So, especially these heroes I just told you. Reina, Mia, Nora, then Gwen or Wane. Against these heroes, you can use the stun heroes as rally joiner. Okay. So, these are full guide for the hero from generation 1 to generation 7. I think I have covered almost everything. If I miss anything, you can tell me in the comment that uh, I miss this part. So I can make another video on this to correct this thing. But I think I have covered almost everything in this video. And one more thing I want to add. If your Zinman is minimum 4 star, you can use him for garrison joiner. Because this skill is really good. Defense up 10%, health up 10%. This skill is really good for the garrison joiner. So if your Zinman is 4 star, you can use him for the garrison joiner. It is better than Patrick or uh, Ling Shuang or Wallace Wokan. And if you are talking about the best rally joiner and best garrison joiner hero in the whole game right now. I want to say that best rally joiner in the whole game that is Nora. And best garrison joiner in the whole game that is Amos. But if you are free to play you cannot upgrade them properly. So don't go for them that much you can use classic jesse or patrick and if you are strong free to play player if you have upgraded these heroes too much then you can use nora as rally joiner and almost as garrison joiner so in this video i did not focus much on the arena because i have already made a full video on the arena lineup for almost every generation 
and when new generation will come i will update my arena lineup video and for this video i mainly focused on the expedition and i did not tell about the sources where you can get the shots because i have already made a video on the shots you can watch the video and i have already made video on lucky wheel or how to get the gems and other things i will give all the links in the comment so if i am missing anything from this video you can write in the comment and i will correct that thing that is all for today's video i hope you enjoy the video thank you so much for watching and bye bye